Hello Courage Lovers, welcome to an exciting episode in our Courage Effect series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transform images like this to glass block effects like this inside of Corridor. Right? So without having to say much, I'm just going to get right into the business of the day. So click on new and I'm going to use the size RGB and um, you can impute the name, but I'll just make this a little bit faster. So the first thing I want to do is let me just change this up to use the size that I want to use. Okay, so this is the size. I'm going over to the resource file the link to download this picture or this image is in the description of this video. So I'm basically just going to drag and drop inside here like this. This is the image I'm going to use. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it bigger, right? Hold down shift and increase from the edge like this. The next thing I'm going to do is to make a duplicate copy of this Ctrl C and Ctrl V, right? And um, yeah, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So the image is already there. So what you want to do is with this one on top selected, go over to objects, no, go over to effects, go over to creative and select glass block, right? Make sure you use this settings, right? Use my settings and click OK when you're done. Now, the next thing you want to do is go over to, you can see the effect is on the entire image on top. Now, the next thing you want to do is to go over to your shape tool, select the shape tool, highlight these two nodes here like this and shift it inward like this to create this half effect. So as you can see, what I've just done is one part you have the effect and the other part uh, is where you have the glass block effect like this. Right? So. The next thing you want to do is, now that you have this in place, I'm going to select my rectangle, draw a rectangle on top of the image, like this. Uh, I'm going to fill it with black. Make sure to remove the outline like this. And uh, select transparency. When it comes up, make sure you're selecting this one. And you select this one here, right? Now, a couple of things you want to do, select this white point, click on it and take it up, select this black point and bring it down, right? So you have this vignette effect. So what you want to do is take this up part outside and also take this part to this part here also, make sure you take it outside like this. So you can see that you have your nice vignette effect all around it. And I'm just going to bring this up to make it sit well. Right. So it depends on your choice. You can use any color. I just decided to use black to give me that nice effect that I want. So I'm just going over to. Um right glass block so i'm just gonna break this down move this upward bring it aside here like this i'm going to use this for effects make this smaller like this and of course space it out bring this here and um, make it smaller so it fits within the frame and um, change the font that i used To this move this upward use my shape to to reduce the uh, space between the glass and the block just like this 
bring this downward just a little bit like this and we're good to go right so this is how i created this effect inside of Corel Draw. if you've gained something valuable inside this video make sure you don't skip without hitting the like button and also make sure you share this video right and if you're not gotten your Corel Draw templates it's still very much available use the link in the description of this video to get these templates and so that you can ease your design process right And if you've not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Just up up up. Ciao.